Rockets here at home in this Western Conference matchup live here in Houston. With David Aldridge on our sideline and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, this is Kevin Harlan. They're still within reach of that eighth spot, just one game back. Kevin, in recent games, their luck has been all bad and tough. I mean, that could very well continue against the team they're facing here in this game. It's not going to be easy to end this streak. Here's the starting group for Kansas City. Deion Waiters is out there with Mason. Then it's Jones. Then it's Reddish. And it's LeBissier in at the power forward. Now here's Waiters. Four on the shot clock. Mason for three. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. And it's Harden with the ball for the Rockets. Durant dishes to Burke. Over Mason. Burke can't get it to go. And it's Kansas City's ball. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I spoke with Kansas City's head coach. In going up against James Harden, he stressed to his team the need to show your hands to the refs. The beard is just the best at catching defenders with their hands in the cookie jar. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. The minute KD gets the ball, all eyes are on him. That leaves a wide open man. Mason kicks to Waiters. Kansas City needs to get off a shot. Mason, it's rebounded by Houston. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first pass. Yep, that one goes. Beautiful body control by KD. Well-coordinated athlete, especially for a near seven-footer. Mason, the pass to Waiters. Pass to Reddish. Pass to Mason. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by Capella. Four shots, four misses, and you can sense a certain frustration building. Durant for three. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. And Kansas City decides to take their first time out here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, these guys need to work together as a team, as a unit. Try and carve out some easy buckets. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Mason kicks to Reddish. Five on the clock. Peters on the wing. Over Harden. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. Releases. Gonna go that time, and Kansas City will go the other way with it. Here is Mason, Burke covering, and there's the pass to Labissier. Nice ball movement by Kansas City. Jones dishes to Waiters, and the rebound goes to the Rockets. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. Harden with it. And the dunk by Capella. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Reddish. Launches a three. 
That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you should miss. Harden the pass to Randall. Capella trying to free himself up. That's good from Randall on the assist from Harden. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Pass to Waiters. Good work defensively by Harden. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. We've got 123 left to play in the first quarter. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That's his first foul. Houston with a big group substitution here. Kenneth Fareed, he's checked in for Capella. Jarebko comes in for Julius Randle. Butler, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. And it's Gordon in for Burke. 107 left in the first quarter of the game. Here is Mason. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. It doesn't go for him. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And that one's good by Butler. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Time called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Waiters. Yeah, and looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. Now, here's Reddish. There's 37 seconds left in the first. Six on the shot clock. Here's Waiters. It's good from about 19 feet. Terrific understanding of how to score the ball. Waiters gets what he wants. Lights out. Harden the pass to Gordon. From 12 feet out. Second chance shot. And Fareed lays it in. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. From deep three-point range, and the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Houston looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. Right back after this break. back everyone it's Noche Latina in the NBA as we resume action and quite a position here for the Rockets to be in what do you think guys you could see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one yes what they do they take away the things that teams like to do offensively also keeping them out of sync and it's Harden with the ball for the Houston Rockets this is the most they've led by 13 points. Harden and Gordon, the guard tandem. Kenneth Fareed is out there with Jonas Jarebko. And it's Butler in at the small forward spot. That's the five for Houston right now. Always better to be lucky than good when it comes to offensive rebounding. Unless you're as good as he is, then those tip-ins are all about skill. Reddish's shot is good. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Harden the pass to Gordon. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got four assists in the game. 
both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Jimmy Butler has made several all-star teams, but he remains single-minded in pursuit of his bigger goal. Butler said, I just want to win a championship. That's all that matters. I didn't do it in high school. I didn't do it in college. If I don't win it here, then I'll go to the 50 and over league someday. But I got to win a championship at some stage. Kevin? I like that attitude. Thank you, D.A. I love the aggressiveness by Butler when he's driving the basketball to the bucket. Kansas City trails by 19. Time called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Checked in for Jonas Jarebko. On the wing, Jones. Fareed defending. Mason kicks to Waiters. Just five on the clock. They need this. A three-pointer is right on target. Waiters got seven. Nice follow through on the jumper. Deion Waiters looking rock solid that time. Butler feeling out of it. Shoots a fader and good. Got the English that time as it falls. He's got six. Nothing went right on that offensive possession except the result. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Mason against Harden. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Kansas City shooting their first free throws of the game right now. good on that one. Houston making some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Reed. Kevin Durant comes in for Gordon. And Trey Burke subbed in for James Harden. And the second free throw, good. Steve Revenue's climbing. We're seeing some star players make 40-plus million a year. Top coaches making around 10 million a year. My goodness. Do you think coaches are due for a raise, though, Steve? You know, I think all parties involved, it, the numbers will keep going up, Kevin. The franchise values are going up to over a billion dollars. So I think coaches will get a raise, players will get a raise, and the guys that are playing at a high level, especially for coaches, if they're winning, their numbers will go up. Here's Waiters after Clint Capella's bucket. Pass to Reddish. The pass to LeBissier. From deep. And Kansas City misses again. I'm not sure if anyone on the team has the green light from there. Definitely not him. It's the kind of shot that gives Hero Ball a bad name. 
and causes your coach to consider another line of work. And it's Mason with the ball for Kansas City. He kicks it to Waiters. Lock at six. That's good, and that evens things out for him. 50-50. Four of eight shooting this game. Sometimes under defensive pressure, Deion Waiters tries to do too much, but that time makes a nice adjustment on the shot. Kansas City trails by 19. Here's Mason. Banked in off the glass. That's good planning, and that's good execution. And that's a great look. One twenty-two left to play in the first half. Now here's Butler. Defense is right there. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots. And the defense has not adjusted. Jones dishes to Waiters. And it's off from three-point range. Rockets leading by 19. Here's KD. Makes it off the glass. KD's got seven. Well, as good as Durant is on the perimeter, this is where he hits for an absolutely insane percentage. Jones, the pass to Waiters. And Butler sends it back. Here's Burke. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Two shots. Houston shooting their first free throws of this game. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Houston making some changes. Randall's checked in for Clint Capella. And Jonas Jarebko subbed in for P.J. Tucker. Burke hits them both. 29 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Mason kicks to Reddish. Tries again, and it's good on the way up. Reddish has got his second bucket of the night. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Passes to Burke. A three ball. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Burke's got five points in the quarter. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. The Rockets on top, delivering the blowout. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Houston holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny, what do you think? Well, they're winning all the 50-50 offensive board. The rebound goes up. Everybody goes to get it, but only one person's coming down with it. And that's the guy with the extra effort, and it's been them tonight. That's why it's a blowout, the second-chance opportunity, and they've made the most of it. And, Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. Well, they're obviously facing a hot shooting team tonight. That combined with a lackluster effort on defense, recipe for disaster. I mean, without major improvement defensively, this game is O-D-A, over. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew.
And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. One of the stories here, Deion Waiters getting it done today. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Setting the floor for Kansas City. You've got Reddish. Scal LaBissier out there with Jones. Then there's Mason. And it's Waiters in at the two spot. Burke. Capella. And it's put back up and in by Capella. Capella's got the first points of the second half here for Houston. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. Stolen by Mason. And Kansas City pushing it up now. Mason's running. Randall with some nice D. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And it's Capella missing. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off. And sometimes that's all it takes. Now here's Waiters. Nine points in the game so far. And LaBissier, the bucket on the assist by Waiters. LaBissier's got himself on the board with three there. Rockets leading by 20. Harden scanning the floor. Now Kevin Durant. Seven points in the game. Five to shoot. Capella. It's deflected. Four on three as they bring it up. Mason with it. He's picked up by KD. I'll tell you, if you're not looking out, KD will send your shot back. On the wing, Harden. The jumper from the free throw line is good. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no part of a comeback in this one. Reason why momentum can flip so quickly. We see it time and time again. Teams giving up big leads. Time called here. Kansas City decides to talk it over. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. in for the Rockets. Gordon comes in for Burke. Knocked away. Stolen by Fareed. Here's KD. Misses off the left iron. Can't fault the play call even though... Oh, what a play! What a going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. From Deep Harden, that's good, and it's KD with the assist. Durant's got three assists tonight. It, it doesn't matter how a defense plays him. Harden is going to make sure that the three-point shot is a primary weapon. Harden against Mason. He can't get that one. Harden with the defensive effort. The struggle is real. He's been way off with this shot all evening long. Here's Gordon. Goes back up. And Fareed finishes inside. Fareed's got eight points. He's not looking at the score. He's staying focused. And he's staying active. There's two things they rely on him for. Being competitive and bringing energy. Here is Mason. Pass to LeBissier. Shot clock at six. Here's Rush. Rebounded by Fareed. Fareed's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Jones against Harden. Here's Fareed. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. Here. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Reddish. Go, go, go. 
We've got 155 left in the third. Down to five on the shot clock. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Here's Jones. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Julius Randle picks one up. Kansas City shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Damian Jones. At the line for two. Shooting two. That one is off. Houston making some changes. Jarebko comes in for Julius Randle. And it's Butler in for Durant. Second free throw, no good. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some thunder. Yeah. Here's Jones following the basket by Kenneth Fareed. Kansas City shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. And that one misses. Davis has checked in for Kansas City. There's 117 left in the third. Here's a Kobo. Just five to shoot. Pass to Kavanaugh. Over Jarepko. And Kansas City misses again. Now here's Gordon. And the pass to Butler. With the shot. Misses off the right iron. Here's Niang, defended by Butler. Passes it to a Kobo. 30 seconds left in the third quarter, and they'll keep possession. Bellinelli for three, drills the three-pointer. Bellinelli's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Now, here is Harden. He's tightly guarded. On the wing, Gordon fires the three. Here's Jarebko. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Rockets ahead, just dominating this one. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Taking a look at the Rockets, they've got Clint Capella, Harden out there with Burke. Then there's Jonas Jarebko, and it's Butler in at the small fold. When Butler's locked in on a defensive end, his defensive instincts are awesome. Mason looking around. Pass to Waiters. No good with the triple. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Now, here is Harden. 
And good work on the boards, and they pick up the second chance points. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Mason with it. Burke covering. And that one, good. Resourceful move there. That, that was not an easy one to convert, especially given the height disadvantage. I love the way he created space for his shot. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Catching up on the changes for Houston. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Capella. Daniel House comes in for James Harden. And it's Seth Curry in for Burke. That free throw good from Butler. With the NBA looking to improve officiating, Smitty, they'd like to revise the rule book to more closely match the way the game is played. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think, I mean, Kevin, we have to evolve. I think now the game has evolved to more three-point shots, so you got to look at also defense, hand-checking. And now we're talking about a lot about, you know, room for guys to land, whether it's a foul or not. So I think it will evolve, and it should be, because the game is evolving. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing, and the Rockets making a change here. Nene is checked in. So he comes up empty at the line. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Now here's Butler. It's hauled in by Trent. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Rockets. Kicks it to Butler. Pass to Tucker. Houston moving the ball around. House the pass to Nene. Six to shoot. No good there. A floater. He takes it up and lays it in. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Curry passes to House. Here's Butler for three. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Mason against Curry. You know, Smitty, the NBA more active now in developing players before they enter the NBA. Not just the fundamentals, but the values of the game. Yeah, I think it's a good move. The league has been taking a hands-on approach. There's nothing wrong with teaching the next generation life lessons about the sport and through the sport. And so it's Houston with it, following the score by Kansas City. Back to Butler. Fires for three. Score the basket. His eighth. Eight for 13 from the floor. Tonight, Butler's been ferocious, got into a rhythm early, and has been able to sustain that effort. Here's Trent, guarded by Tucker. The pass to Mikhailu. Here's McKnight. No good off the back of the rim. And I'm sure next time he sits down, coach is going to have a few choice words for him with that shot selection. And you know what? He knows it. You have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they've executed. Here's Trent. McKnight guarded by Tucker. Here's McKnight. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And one team is just completely 
outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Rockets. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And counting tonight's game on the season, they'll now have won 57 games this year. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away from sweeping the season series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Butler. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. And he makes the first. You know, Smitty, Commissioner Adam Silver has been outspoken in saying there will be a female NBA head coach, and he says it's on him to help it happen sooner than later. And, Steve, we already see many women in various categories in the NBA all over the league right now. So true, Kevin. I love the diversity, and it's much needed in our league. And I will say Adam Silver has done a great job of taking us in that direction. Now, here's Bellinelli. Passes it to a Kobo. Shooting for Kansas City. Ellie Okobo. Two shots. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. Gordon's checked in for Houston. And he's good on the second. Boy, he'd sure like to have that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving freebies at the line. And here is Curry. And Davis sends it back. Here's a Kobo. Inside, Bellinelli. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And you got to like that they found something positive here, something that maybe carry overs into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. Oh, here's Gordon, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul Shooting called on Kansas City. You have to be very careful when you're guarding Gordon. He's adept at putting pressure on the defense. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. 19 seconds left in the game. Akobo, the pass to Niang. On the wing, Bellinelli. For the three. That one, no good. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.